going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install this new ROM by Team Revolution here. Uh, it's called Clean Fusion version 2. And I'll be showing you guys how to flash it and um, how to install it. First thing you have to do is download these three files. I'm going to be providing a link of where to download them from. And you have to put them in the root of your SD card. After you put them in the root of your SD card, um, then you, uh, you're you going to boot up into recovery on the phone, and um, that's how we're going to flash it. So put them in your root of your SD card, and I'll do the rest right now. So once you're in recovery, the first thing we have to do is do a wipe data factory reset. After you've done your backup already. So we'll do wipe data. Okay, once the wipe data is complete, I always wipe the cache. Okay, once that's done, you have to go into um, advanced, I mean, not advanced, mounts and storage. And make sure your mounts look like the guide I'm going to be providing on the link. So your mounts have to look like unmount cache. Mount data, mount SD card, and don't forget to put unmount system. Okay, once so uh, mount system. So it has to say unmount cache, mount data, mount SD card, and unmount system. This is very important because if not, you could break your phone. <laughs> okay, once that's done, you go to install SIP from SD card. choose SIP from SD card and you're going to choose Clean Fusion version 2 SIP and install Clean Fusion version 2 SIP so that you will see it doing its thing And I will be continuing the video as soon as this installs completely. You're going to see a few like sort of soft reboots and there it is. Install from SD card complete. After that, all you have to do is go back and reboot system now. You're going to hear the voice of Linda talking, saying what the ROM is doing to the phone for the partitions in the system. That's normal. Don't panic. Don't pull out the battery. Just wait. And I will continue as soon as this boots up. That's a new boot animation after everything has restored. It took about a good 3 minutes, 4 minutes for it to do its thing. <coughs> and this is the boot animation that they provided on this ROM. Looks pretty good. So far so good. Let's see how long it takes to boot up.
Alright, so it's all boot up as you can see. Success. Um, now it, the guy does say so let us sit about five minutes. So I did let us sit about five minutes. Now for now I'm just gonna use the regular launcher just to install. Um <clears throat> Now I gotta install the run script that it tells us to install. I'm gonna have to download. Here's the files. We have to install this file that I told you to put in your SD card. Script manager. Yes, install. Open it. And we gotta find this. V6 supercharger and we have to click on that. Okay, then after we do that we gotta press run as root and then run core super user so allow then we gotta choose option one And then we have to choose option two. I will be providing a link and uh, somewhat brief instruction on how to do it on the description below. But I'll provide a link of the original guide, which is an XDA developer, so you can see exactly how to do it. This is just a video. This is my first time installing it, so that's why I'm going a little slow. But hopefully, we get this right. This ROM looks pretty good so far. And now, after option 2, we choose option 16 and press enter. And just keep letting it do its thing. And after that, you just press enter. And now we gotta reboot. And there it is. After after this reboot, we'll be able to set up our phone however you want. And that's it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This video it was just a quick guide on how to install this ROM. I know it might be a little long, but it just it's it's a lot of steps that you have to go through to install this ROM. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like the ROM. I will do a ROM review as soon as I get a chance. For now, enjoy. Comment, rate, and subscribe, please.